Good evening, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, early after, well, kind of late afternoon here in California. June 10th, 2021, about 4.45 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Latest quake on the globe, a 5.6 out here around the Costa Rica area. You can see that uh, earthquake striking there on the globe. Pretty, uh, yeah, not a significant quake, but definitely a sizable quake for this area. Go ahead and check out uh, some more specific dynamics on the earthquake activity there on the USGS. I know we can't really trust them completely, but you know what? They are a source for information when it comes to earthquake activity. 5.6 Costa Rica. Let's zoom oh, it's way down there. Zoom up here to Costa Rica. You can see it just off the coast, folks, along this uh, plate boundary right here. Uh, this area, no doubt, uh, is capable of producing some uh, sizable earthquake activity. You can see on the historical seismic map there, uh, of course, the star indicating the uh, epicenter of the 5.6 today. But within the region, uh, the key tells us that there's definitely uh, uh, quakes within the area that are capable, within the region, uh, of a much larger magnitude. So... Just be on guard out there around the Costa Rica area. Uh, the depth of this earthquake, roughly about 10 kilometers or so. Uh, as far as did you feel it responses, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. A few folks checking in from the area of Costa Rica, many different areas um, reported feeling that, uh, that earthquake right there. So, uh, yeah, out there in the uh, beautiful Costa Rica area, seeing some earthquake activity right now. As far as globally goes, uh, we'll go ahead and check this out here real quick. Um, Japan still kind of rocking up here towards the northern end. Not a whole lot. In fact, if you look at the general area along the Pacific Ring, uh, Pacific Ring of Fire, it's pretty uh, dull. If dull's a word, I guess I could use. Pretty quiet. Um, no significant earthquake movement out there along the Pacific Ring of Fire. A little bit of earthquake activity around Japan, uh, south or the Africa region. There was a 5.0 around the Republic of Congo, which is kind of odd. I mean, we don't see too much earthquake activity. In fact, looking at the regional seismic activity, oh, since about 1900 or so, shows just, uh, well, some minor earthquake activity along this region here. Uh, but not too much around the region where we've seen this uh, recent earthquake, that 5.0 there in the Republic of Congo. So oddball earthquake activity happening in some uh, certain areas there south america let's check this out real quick well inland check out this earthquake folks this one scares me because that is a deep very very deep earthquake taking place there 570 kilometers down dip downstream the peru trail uh peru chile trench area not a big earthquake, but a 4.4 and a very deep earthquake at that. Um, that's kind of, that's, uh, that's very deep for this area. So be on guard uh, in the South America region, the Chile area. Um, back upstream, a 5 or a 4.6 at 52 kilometers. Uh, but still some uh, significant movement here. Uh, when you look at the uh, the depth of these earthquakes there in South America. Um, way up here, I've seen this earlier, pretty crazy, way up in the tip here of this area of Canada, a 4.6 striking up here at about 10 kilometers or so. Um, kind of, kind of, like I said, this is kind of floating around for some odd earthquake activity. Areas where we don't normally see, you know, if, if you watch this channel, you don't normally see earthquake activity striking way up here in Canada, uh, in Costa Rica, in the middle of Africa, you know, 600 kilometer deep earthquake in South America. You know, it's just kind of one of those days where we're like, okay, check this out. What's going on there? So that's what's going on for now. Um, but I think uh, there's some big changes going on here. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, all magnitudes map here on the North American plate area. Um, no new movement along the East Coast. We've seen that little earthquake out there around New Jersey yesterday. Yesterday, uh, Pecos, Texas, still seeing a little bit of earthquake activity. 
Uh, the main story for right now here in Southern California, a little bit of movement along the San Jacinto Fault area. They had a 3.0 uh, along this region here, the San Jacinto Fault area. Still looking at some swarming going on, but not as significant as the past few days there in the Salton Sea area. Just uh, a few earth, uh, micro earthquakes or so. Uh, but looking up here to the north, still, um, you know, what's that? What, what's going on there? It's not volcanic. It's definitely not volcanic. 57 earthquakes outside of the specifically named fault structures such as the San Jacinto, San Jacinto and some other areas here. So we're getting a little bit of squeezing, which is um, a general... Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's obvious that there's pressure building up here along the southern part of, of Southern California here. We can see movement here in the mountain ranges like this, a little cluster. Uh, obviously, some earthquake activity. We can check the dynamic or the uh, uh, satellite imagery out here and see what's out here. There is no volcanic, as uh, far as I know, there's not any volcanic activity out here. Of course, um, ancient volcanic activity, you never know. Uh, we're looking at, uh, man, it's scattered. Check this out. <laughs> check it out. This is all scattered throughout this area where we're seeing, like, it looks like. Well, it's homes. Looks like a, res a residential area and whatnot. But uh, they're pretty shallow. They're really shallow. Um, some 1.8s, uh, 1.7s. This is some odd earthquake activity taking place here at rel relatively shallow conditions. Um, I hope those aren't uh, water wells, you know, collapsing. That would not be good. I mean, here in Northern California, we're looking at uh, a shortage of water obviously we're in an exceptional drought um, I'm worried about my own water well in my field that supplies me water here to the house um, I don't want that thing to go dry but I have to water my fruit trees and uh, grapevines and all that stuff but uh, we're looking at uh, a lot of water being pumped out of the ground due to orchards and of course your typical residential water usage <coughs> Um, so who knows what's going on there? It's kind of just a little, little swarm of activity there. About 60 earthquakes or so in that vicinity. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, moving up here to north, Ridgecrest pretty quiet. Uh, in fact, Nevada quiet as well. Still seeing a little movement along the eastern crest of the Sierra Nevada, right around uh, what do we got here? Lassen Peak seeing a little bit of earthquake activity. Lake Almanor getting in on some of the movement. Or as last and peak goes, uh, just a point, point two. Nothing really to even worry about at the moment. Mount Hood, seeing a couple of small microquakes earlier today, right at the base. Once again, we were watching this area for a swarm, uh, but for now, just a couple small, very, very small earthquakes taking place in that region. Check out the Yellowstone National Park seismograph. Pretty quiet, folks. Uh, as far as trimmer goes, it's kind of early. Uh, really early, actually. So we have not looked at uh, um, today's events. This is still from yesterday. But volcanic seismicity, we can check out Mount Hood and see um, any dynamics in in this area as far as... Uh, well, I mean, this, is, this goes back over the last week or so. So it's pretty impressive looking. As far as the seismograph station, we want to check that out and see what's going on there. Uh, what do we got here? Pretty quiet. Really quiet. Um, you can see a little bit of adjustment. And this is pretty funny looking at this. You can see some adjustment here from this area up here north to this area. South. Half of the graph. Why it's split like that, I don't know. But uh, looking at this activity, it's still kind of, eh, you know, maybe maybe they're watching this activity here at Mountain Hood pretty closely. If I were to guess, this is long duration um, vibration or, do I dare say it, magma movement? I mean, it's extended and, and it's periodic. It's not, if it was like equipment, like a generator or a tractor, um or something around the area you would see uh, it would look different it would definitely look um, 
a generator would be a consistent tone without any variables in the uh, the seismic readings. But this here, uh, man, I don't know. Looks kind of weird. Um, so we'll have to pay close attention to it. But they did amplify the uh, sensitivity here, the half of the graph. And um, it looks pretty quiet, at least over the last few hours there at Mount Hood. But, um, you know, I'm still watching that, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful mountain. Uh, or a volcano, I should say. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Um, that's my second favorite volcano up here in the West Coast. Uh, of course, my first is Mount Shasta, but... Um, I love Mount Hood. Mount Hood's got a beautiful feature to it. So it uh, would not be good to see that thing blow. Um, all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here, uh, get a barbecue going, kind of just enjoying the evening. Uh, you know, just kind of taking it easy. Still kind of recovering from some life events. You know, we all have to go through them. But still just kind of taking it easy and recovering from it. I don't want to, uh, man, I, I, I don't want to go into a black hole. 50,000 subscriber giveaway is coming up here very, very soon. Uh, look for that video. You guys will know when it comes out. There's no doubt. I will leave it up for a couple weeks to give everyone a chance to enter into a drawing uh, to, get, to give away some prizes. So um, it's coming. It's coming. Just bear with me. I got a lot going on right now here uh, on this end of the computer. So appreciate everyone's patience and, of course, their support. So... Have a good night, guys. We will chat at you, uh, man, we'll chat you probably tomorrow unless something changes. Have a good night. Peace out, folks.